Now, first of all, I want to start off with online marketing, specifically how, how Google works and how search works on the web. So the things you really need to consider regarding your digital strategies, today everyone's digital, so it doesn't matter what you do, everyone is digital across the board. Uh, and definitely the success digital comes for communicating to the audience effectively, considering what they need. So some of the things is really considering your online environment, how to connect and engage with your audience, and considering the different mediums to do that, which we'll cover today. So when people go to the web, how do they search? There's different ways, of course. So you can either search directly in terms of, you know, the, the government um, website that you need to go to, so you just type that into the browser, or you may Google them, or you may find them through other ways. You may search through social media. So these are some of the ways that people search. And the other thing to consider with that is over 94% of people actually going to the internet are using Google as a search engine. So there's some keywords, um, some things I really like to go through with you. Um, so some of the different words that people use in this space, browser, search engine, search engine optimization, algorithm, online marketing, keyword strings, there's a lot of different keywords that they use. Uh, so I just want to explain a few of them quickly just so we have a context when we go into social media. Okay, so firstly, what is online marketing? So basically anything we're doing online to market to people or to speak to people. So it's not necessarily selling something, it can be obviously a message or it can be gaining support. So online marketing, people think, is just ads, Google or social media, but it can also be email marketing. It can be different ways of engaging through an online platform. Search engine marketing is something I'd like to define because people often get confused with the term. Search engine marketing is basically covering two principles. So search engine marketing is basically getting your carrots or getting yourself known through Google, through Google as a search engine or other search engines, and there's two ways. One is through organic search, which I'll explain. And the second is through the paid ads. Um, and the organic rankings is sort of related to the search engine optimization, which I'm going to go through. So when you go to Google, you've got um, two main areas. So you've got the ads, which say add next to them, on the side and at the top. And you've got this area here, which is what we call the organic area of Google. Many of you are probably familiar with that. So you've got your ads, which are adverts through Google, and you've got your organic area. And this is where you need to create a great website so that Google picks it up. And some of the things that you'll be interested in today regarding social media is you can actually appear in this search through your social media. So if you're really presenting you know, a council event or a new initiative, you can start coming up in this search here through social media. So there's quite a few different ways. And when Ali actually goes through the content, she'll give you some ways that you can write content, which ensures that you come up from here as well. But obviously there's not a lot of other sciences behind it, and the content's just one part of it. So in regards to search engine optimization, that means basically making sure that your website is good in the eyes of Google so that you come up in that search. So the other thing that I wanted to go through was sort of how Google works because I want to talk about algorithms. Has anyone heard of algorithms with Google? Yep. So the same sort of algorithms apply with social media. So you need to consider algorithms when you're doing your social media so that you do come up well in an online search. In regards to algorithms, does anyone know any <coughs> names of Google's algorithm? Panda. Oh, good job. Panda. <laughs> Penguin. Hummingbird. Pigeon. There's so many different versions. So I'm just going to give you a quick brief on it because our focus today is social media. But the reason you need to know about these is because they do affect how you do your social media. You need to consider sort of the things that Google's looking for because that will help with what people are searching for in social media. A lot of the social media base their algorithms or the way that they work on what Google does because Google's one of the best search engines. So for example, Panda. So basically when Panda came out, if your website had terrible content or it had hardly any content on some of the pages, that will really affect your ranking in Google. And it's something Ali will help with providing some tips on. But basically what you need to consider is your website has to have good content. Generally say about 300 words a page, but it depends on sort of what side it is. Uh, and Panda's had several revisions as well, so it changes all the time. And then the other one was Penguin. So Penguin basically um, was talking about links. So whether you have good links coming into your website and out of your website. As government, you've already got an advantage because by having a .gov domain name, it really helps with your, your website ranking. But the other thing to consider is you don't want spammy websites linking to you. You want to try and have good quality links in and out of your website. The next one is Hummingbird. So Hummingbird really wasn't so much of an algorithm change, it's more of a change of how Google works. And this is what you need to consider with your websites and social media. Nowadays, people are searching differently. What they're doing is they're asking questions. How do I do this? What is this about? They're actually asking longer questions. That really does affect how search is done. 
Pigeon was really a local search and that is very relevant to you guys because it is about your local environment. So what Pigeon is about is about making sure that you have local content, you're using local keywords, you're connecting with local sites. So that's also a factor to consider. If you do want to learn more about these, by the way, we do have a YouTube channel, so you do have that on there where we actually have full seminars on each of these things. If you want to learn a bit more about, say, the online marketing side of it or responsive design or anything like that, it's all on the web. The other thing I need, um, we need to consider is Google has things it likes and doesn't like. And it's the same with social media. You don't want to be doing things that are spammy or trying to trick the, the search engine because it can affect your overall ranking. So they have what's called um, white hat and black hat. So white hat's good practice. So again, you can read a bit more about this. So the things you want to consider is you don't want to do anything that's not approved or tricky. You don't want to get a whole bunch of keywords and throw them into your website or your social media. You need to be careful how you do it. And there's a lot of guidelines on that. We'll go through that for each social media. Here is a couple of famous examples. So BMW Germany was actually removed from Google because they did something <laughs> dodgy in regards to trying to trick the search engine to rank. Um, the next slide, JCPenney, is one you can read as well. What they did was they got a whole bunch of universities to link to them. So you think, you know, that's going to really boost our ranking in Google, and Google did not like that because it wasn't relevant. So you need to make sure that what you're doing is relevant to what you're about.